Alright, I meant today I'm gonna talk with you about the thing I worried the most before I came to Glasgow, which is student accommodation. So today I'm gonna show you guys three types of student accommodation you could find around University of Glasgow. So the first type is a private accommodation, second is student private accommodation, and third one is university accommodation. So let's see the difference of each place and then I let you decide yourself which one you like the most. Hi, this is Tracy my friends. Today we're gonna look at her private accommodations. Okay, let's get in. Like you have to see when you book accommodation is what floor is your room. Uh, for right now, I think it's like fourth floor. So most of the private accommodations around Glasgow, they doesn't have the lift, which can be tough if you have to bring your 30 kilo luggage with you. Look at her lovely bedroom. Okay, so right now we're in the bathroom. That's some factor you have to consider too. And how many people you have to share the bathroom with. Living room. Oh, look how homey this place is. See the fire roads over there. <laughs> Tracy for showing us around mm -hmm. to your room and that's it for today. Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye bye! <laughs> Next one, next one is my room, which is a student accommodation. It's this Unite Student in Tram Work. You have to walk around 20 minutes to university, but I love my flat. And welcome to my room, guys. This is my bedroom. And it's pretty much have the basic thing that you would need. And it starts to feel like home after you stay in here for some time. This is another important factor you have to think about. I heard that some flat they have to share with eight people when they only have two small fridge, which can be quite disaster if everybody loves to cook. By the way, we also have beach water. Like staying in the flat quite scared me in the beginnings because I don't know who gonna be my flatmate. If you get Good flat meat is like you win a lottery ticket and my flat meat are amazing. They are super nice people. We have two laundry room, one on the fifth floor and one right here. You should need a key cover to get in. Another factor you should take into consideration is how much does it cost to do laundry. For this place, I think the price weighs too high, like sky high. The laundry one time it can take you like normally three pounds. If you have like a super wash and some, like, something that's gonna wash your clothes longer, it can take up to four pounds per one load. And for dryer, it's 1.7. But if you stay in a private accommodation, they usually have washing machine inside and you can use it for free. But then you have to pay for the electricity, so you have to wait up between the electricity cost or pay five pounds per one load to wash your clothes. Hi, and right now we're on the fifth floor, and in this area we have another common area which we can sit up, hang out with friends, do some group projects over here, or even have a movie night. Watch some Netflix over there. Another good thing for staying in student accommodation is we have this service. So if you do online shopping, there's going to be somebody always here to pick up your shopping stuff. If you stay in private accommodation sometime, if the post get to your place and knock on the doors and nobody there, they might just leave. Last but not least, university accommodation. This place is the base for those who don't want to go really far from uni. It's like next to the university. I right now in front of the library and I headed to my friend flat. And this accommodation, it's going to be university student accommodation. The cool thing about this place, it's only two minutes walk from the uni. So, for those who might want to wake up later or want to be super close to uni, it would be this would be a really great choice for you. I'm supposed to be her. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 
How are you? I'm good. One of the things about single accommodations is so your own bathroom. Oh. But we have about five, six bathrooms here. It's basically just got a shower, your toilet. <laughs> we even have a bathtub. We have a bathtub. Oh. Which is really cool. The and kitchen. Kitchens. Wow, you have a really big kitchen. So there's about 20 people living in this flat. Oh, 20. Yeah. And so we have two kitchens. This is the bigger one, as mm -hmm. you can see. Um, it has two fridges. You have to share this two fridges with 20 people. No, so the other kitchen oh. has <laughs> has another three fridges. So it's okay. five fridges between 20 people, but there's yeah. never enough space. The thing about this flat, I think it's the location. Yeah. Because you're so close to the uni, like two minutes walk. That is definitely the best thing about this flat. Yeah. It takes two minutes to get to class. You can literally wake up 10 minutes before class. Yeah. Too. Jealous. <laughs> also, uh, Byers Road is just down the hill. Yeah. Which has like Mark and Spencer, Marks and Spencer's, or Sainsbury's, yeah. and a whole bunch of other restaurants and cafes. It's literally the best location, I think. Three single rooms mm -hmm. in here, and then the rest are sharing, um, which is great for first year because you get to meet people, uh, make friends. With your roommate, like I love my roommate. Yeah. 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 You can see the city center from here. From there. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so this is a laundry room. Okay. So yeah. here's your laundry room. So there's uh, two machines for washing, two machines for drying, and we have an app which tells you when the machines are busy and when they're not. Is it circuit? It looked like the same company. Yeah. They're the same company and they charge more. <laughs> that is not fair. <laughs> so this is the same company that I have at my flat. And at my flat, it's much more expensive, at least like 20%. Thank you really much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is three type of accommodation you could find around University of Glasgow, but there are more type than these three. So leave the comment below of what you think, which one you like the most. And if I miss any fa factor that we should take into consideration, you can leave it below as well. So see you guys next time. Bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.